People use the expression, hitting the nail right on the head a lot. I think we should start testing these nails for CTE before they start beating their wives. <laughs> it's gonna get worse, guys, I promise. There's a lot of expressions in the English language, but there's one that I think is more important than any other one. That's that you can lead a horse to water, but you probably shouldn't fuck them. <laughs> That one didn't hit us hard, but thank you. That's a good smile. I like your smile, man. I didn't come prepared tonight whatsoever, so I have to sit here and think about my jokes. I have plenty of them. They're coming. My name is Sean Bishop. I have a goal in life to be the most famous Sean Bishop, which is fortunate because there's not many of us. Like If you guys think about it, in 1981, the second overall draft pick in the NBA draft, was a guy by the name of Isaiah Thomas. Then in 1989, a woman in Washington State named her son after him. And that Isaiah Thomas grew up to be one of the greatest point guards in NBA history. How fortunate am I that they weren't named Sean Bishop because my dream would have ended the moment I got cut from the sixth grade basketball team. <laughs> Luckily for me, I just have to be more famous than actor Sean Bishop. Exactly. <laughs> Who the fuck's that guy? Turns out actor Sean Bishop was famous for one movie role where he played the eldest son to the main character in the 1977 classic Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Which means right now as an open mic comic, I'm the second most famous Sean Bishop, right behind a guy that's been out of work for 45 years. <laughs> like if you guys can leave here tonight and remember my name's Sean Bishop, I will be the most famous Sean Bishop in front of a guy that I can only assume is a homeless man on the streets of Hollywood that once played a secondary character in a movie about communicating with aliens. <laughs> and I hate alien movies because they're always about can we communicate with the aliens. Turns out that's not the problem. What we should be worried about is can the aliens communicate with spiders. <laughs> I'm going to finish the joke, and it'll make more sense, so if, if you're worried, well, it's coming. Alright, so, the aliens just show up and decide to wipe out the human race, I get it, I'm funny as fuck. I love this guy in red. If the aliens show up and decide to wipe out the human race, they're a bunch of racists. But if they can speak spider, I'm the racist. I don't know if you guys have heard of this Hitler fellow. Let me drop some numbers on you. He's famous for this thing called the Holocaust, where he wiped out 66% of the Jews in Europe. I've killed 100% of the spiders I've ever fucking seen. <laughs> Which means if the aliens can speak spider, I'm gonna be the dickhead in every alien history book that tried to wipe out entire species off this planet. But if a spider genocide makes me the next Hitler, I'll own it. I'll vow to kill every last one of those eight-legged fucks. Because every single person in here knew who Hitler was. Not damn well if you knew who actor Sean Bishop was. And I played him man. I used to be a co-manager. Someone clapping for a second? I crazy. I'm hearing things. I feel better about myself. My ego's large. I used to be a co-manager of an 84 lumber. Jesus. Lumber in Elkins, West Virginia. I was the youngest guy there. All my employees were much older than I was. And I had this thin, anemic looking fellow that worked for me named Vinny. Vinny came to me one day and said, Sean, I've been cheating on my wife. What should I do? Mind you, I'm not the guy to ask. But I thought about it for a second. I said, Vinny, 
when we frame houses, we don't use screws, we use nails. We don't use screws because the framing will shift and the screws will snap. We use nails because nails are meant to bend. And Vinny looked at me funny for a second. He said, Sean, what does that have to do with anything? I said, Vinny, if you keep screwing other women, I'm gonna nail your wife. <laughs> Went down the wrong pipe. Fucked that up. <laughs> I went to college in Kaiser, West Virginia, and Kaiser is located right in the middle of the Appalachian Mountains. And the town's down in the valley and up on the hill, there's a bunch of windmills. And I used to go party at the windmills and we'd be up there drinking, smoking, listening to music. We'd always listen to bands like Iron Maiden and Black Sabbath. Not because we were into that music, but man, those windmills, they're big metal fans. <laughs> That was the first joke I ever wrote. Can you believe I'm only six months into this? Fantastic. Six months tomorrow, guys. I'm a fucking murder around town. Thank you. Cody gets it. I've seen some bad comics. I'm on fire. I drove an hour for this too, which fucking so hour 15. And I had to go to my brother's place because he needed a COVID test. And I'm out of gas, so I'm worried that my car's gonna stop. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I'm at in life. Um, oh, I had this thought the other day. The reason I don't send dick pics, this is what popped in my head, is because I have giant hands a very small penis, <laughs> which is not a great combo because if I try and take a picture, it looks like if an anatomy class project was trying to recreate King Kong. <laughs> Second time telling that joke went pretty well. I like to go hunting. I'm from West Virginia. West Virginia is easily one of the biggest deer hunting states. A lot of people have a problem with that, and I get it. They don't like the idea of hunting. They don't like the idea of shooting animals. But there's some atrocities happening in the deer community. I'm gonna learn you guys something. There's three main types of deer in North America. The first one is the mule deer. It's kind of a neutral deer. Then there's the black and the white-tailed deer. The black-tailed deer is all located in the Pacific Northwest, mainly in Alaska. And then there's the white-tailed deer, and they're everywhere else. They're the deer we have here in West Virginia that jump out in front of your cars, they shit in your yards. But I think the most important thing is the white-tailed deer have completely segregated from the black-tailed deer and I think it's fucked up. <laughs> it's 2022, I thought mammals realized segregation was bad 60 years ago, but you confront these white-tailed deer about it, they have the nerve to give you a deer in the headlights look. <laughs> There's a philosophy in deer hunting that you should pass on smaller bucks, let them get bigger so they can bear more children. I don't agree with that philosophy because it doesn't fix the previous problem. Like if you think about it, the saddest part in the movie Bambi for a long time was that Bambi's mother died. Turns out the saddest part of that movie is Bambi didn't get shot, that racist fuck. <laughs> Good stuff. I don't even think I have anything else. I can't think of it. Cody, yeah, fucking come save me. Man. Let me see if I can think of a fuck. Oh, I, I got one more. We're gonna, we'll do one more really quick. You guys will fucking hate this joke. It's good. <laughs> I had a friend named Morgan write a screenplay. We're almost there. Yeah, I know. I, I fucking faked you out. It, it was a June. I'm Cam Akers. I'm going to the Super Bowl. I'm a Rams fan. I'm feeling good right now. I'm gonna cry if I win the Super Bowl. I mean that, it's gonna be 30 minutes. I spent my entire life in Wheeling, West Virginia, and everybody there's Pittsburgh Steelers fans. I got ragged on hard as a kid for being a Rams fan. Okay, the happiest day of my life, still true. 
November 1st, 2009, we beat the Detroit Lions 17 to 10. I cried for 30 minutes. We were the two worst teams in the NFL. Facts. Okay, back to back to my director friend. Okay, I, thank you. Yeah, we're gonna win this fucking Super Bowl. We're getting there. Um, I had a friend named Morgan write a screenplay, and Morgan decided that he was gonna direct the movie himself. But while directing the movie, Morgan started to go blind. Nobody knew what was wrong with him. So he had to go see a doctor. After many days, many tests, and many, many hours, the doctor came to the conclusion, and he came to me, and he said, Sean, your director friend, you develop in a film in his eyes. Good one to end on, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Good Sean Bishop, everybody! For your next